Hello, my dear students. Welcome to episode 23, A Brave Boy. Today we're studying the past continuous with while. But first, let's revise the past continuous with when. Let's read the following sentences. Dala was eating dinner. Reem called her. Now we have the long action and we have the short action. The long action is in the past continuous tense and the short action is in the past simple tense. Remember, with the past continuous, we use was or were with the verb plus ing. And for the past simple tense, we're going to use verb to. Dala was eating dinner when Reem called her. Let's take another example. They were walking on the beach. They found a shell. Now we have the long action, walking on the beach, and we have the short action, they found the shell. For the long action, we're using what? We're using the past continuous tense. And for the short action, we're using the past simple tense. Now, for the past continuous, we use was or were. Was is for the singular and were is for the plural with the verb plus ing. And for the past simple tense, we're using verb to. They were walking on the beach when they found the shell. What is the past continuous? The past continuous tense describes actions or events in a time before now and was continuous for a period of time. Let's take an example. Sam and John were playing in the park. John decided to climb a tree. We have the long action, playing, and we have the short action, decided. For the long action, we're going to use the past continuous tense. And for the short action, we're using the past simple tense. Remember to use was or were with the verb plus ing. And for the past simple tense, use verb to. While Sam and John were playing in the park, John decided to climb a tree. Where is the position of while in this sentence? It's at the beginning of the sentence. So how are we going to separate those two sentences? We're going to use the comma. While Sam and John were playing in the park, comma, John decided to climb a tree. Now what do we do if while was in the middle of the sentence? Hmm? We can say it in a different way. John decided to climb a tree while he and Sam were playing in the park. You see here? What did we do? We used while in the middle of the sentence and that's why we did not use the comma. Now, we already know that we have two verbs, right? One in the past continuous tense and one in the past simple tense. If you focus, you will see that we use for the verb after while, it's in the past continuous tense. Do you remember what tense uh, did we use after when? It was in the past simple tense. So the verb after when is going to be in the past simple tense. And the verb after while is going to be in the past continuous tense. John decided to climb a tree. Decided, it's in the past simple tense. Then we have while. So we know the verb after while is going to be in the past continuous. Some were playing in the park. Ali was playing tennis. He fell down. The long action was playing tennis. The short action, he fell down. For the long action, we're going to use the past continuous tense. And for the short action, we're going to use the past simple. The past continuous means we're going to use was or were plus the verb with ing. And for the past simple, well, we're going to use verb too. While Ali was playing tennis, he fell down. We have while at the beginning of the sentence 
And that's why we separated the two sentences with a comma. They were doing their homework. Their father came. Now remember, my dear students, with the past continuous tense, we use was or were with the verb plus ing. And for the shorter action, for the past simple tense, we're going to use verb to. Their father came while they were doing their homework. Where is while here? It's in the middle of the sentence. And that's why we're not going to use a comma, because we have while. We only use the comma if it's at the beginning of the sentence. I was swimming in the sea. I saw a shark. The long action, swimming in the sea. The short action, I saw a shark. Now for the long action, we use the past continuous tense. And for the short action, we're going to use the past simple tense. For the long action, for the past continuous, we're going to use was or were plus the verb with ing. And for the past simple tense, well, we're going to use verb to. While I was swimming in the sea, I saw a shark. Remember, we used a comma to separate those two sentences together. And as you can see, for the verb after while, it's in the past continuous tense. While I was swimming. Now, my dear students, test yourself. Choose the correct answer. While I was walking, I'm walking, walked along the beach, comma, I saw a huge bird. I tried to catch it while my sister is reading, was reading, read a story about animals. She told me that lots of seabirds was flying, were flying, flew over the sea an hour ago. Now check your answers. While, okay, so we have while. What are we going to use after while? The past simple or the past continuous? We're going to use the past continuous. Was walking. I'm walking and walked. We did not use the past simple, walked, and we did not use I'm walking because it's a present continuous. And after while, we use the past continuous. Along the beach, comma, I saw a huge bird. I tried to catch it while, okay, my sister, we have while. What are we going to use? Past simple or past continuous? The past continuous is reading. No, we're not going to use that because it's in the present continuous. We're going to use was reading. Read a story about animals. She told me that lots of seabirds, okay, was flying, were flying, flew over the sea. So what are we going to use? We're going to use were flying because we have birds and birds are plural and we're going to use the past continuous. We're not going to use the past simple tense. Over the sea an hour ago. Now, my dear students, you can do an exercise in your student book, page 50, exercise 4. Read the sentences in the box. Remember, you can use while with the past continuous. An example, while Ali was playing tennis, he fell down. While they were doing homework, their father came in. Now, read those two sentences. Walid was walking along the beach. Full stop. He heard a scream. Now make one sentence. While Walid was walking along the beach, comma, he heard a scream. What did we do here? Well, we used while to merge those two sentences together. And what did we do? For the verb after while, we used the past continuous tense. Was walking. It's the longer action and that's why we used the past continuous along the beach comma we're going to separate those two sentences because while is at the beginning of the sentence he heard a scream so we use the past simple tense for the 
second part of the sentence. You can also do your student book, page 50, exercise 5. Write sentences like the example. I swim in the sea. I see a shark. So what are we going to say? While I was swimming in the sea, comma, I saw a shark. We used while to merge those two sentences together. And for the verb, after a while, we changed it into the past continuous tense. So we changed swim into was swimming in the sea, comma, I saw a shark. We changed the other verb into the past simple tense. Let's do number one. Fahed listened to some music. His friends came to his house. Let's use while. Fahed listened to music. While Fahed was listening to music, his friends came to the house. What did we do? We used while. We changed the verb listen into was listening. And what else did we do? We changed the verb come into came. Now, for the verb after while, we use the past continuous tense. Let's do number two. Nadia and Nadra play tennis. It start to rain. So, we can say, while Nadia and Nadra were playing tennis, because it's plural, it started to rain. So we use the past continuous tense with Nadia and Nadra, and we chose were because it's plural. And then we changed start into started, and we change it into the past simple tense. Let's do number three. Omar and Enwar have lunch. Their teacher arrive. What are we going to say? We're going to use while, so while Umar and Anwar, plural, so we're going to say we're having, we can use the past continuous, lunch, their teacher arrived, arrived in the past simple tense. No, let's do number four. We scuba diving, we swim around the shipwreck. While we were scuba diving, we swam around the shipwreck. What did we do? First, while we were scuba diving, so we changed it into the past continuous tense. And for the second verb, swim, we changed it into swam. You can also do an exercise in your workbook, page 40, exercise 6. Use the words in the box to finish the sentences. Walk, watch, swim, Listen, cut. We have an example. Hamid found some shells while he was walking along the beach. As you can see, we use while in the middle of the sentence. So for the first part, we chose the past simple tense. And for the second part, we chose the past continuous tense after while. Now, the lights went out mm, so what are we going to say the lights went out while i was watching tv what did i do i used while what else did i do well i changed the verb after a while into the past continuous tense so we changed watch into watching let's do number two camel heard some beautiful music. What are we going to choose? He heard some beautiful music. We're going to choose listen. So what are we going to say? Camel heard some beautiful music while he was listening to the radio. What did we do? We chose while, okay, to merge those two sentences together. And for the verb after while, we use the past continuous tense. We chose was because we have camel, singular, and we added ing to the verb. Let's do number three. Nadia and Nadra both wore goggles. So here the verb wore in the past simple tense. What are we going to choose? Nadia and Nadra wore goggles. 
Swim, we have swim, so we're going to say Nadia and Nadra both wore goggles while they were swimming. What did we do? We changed the verb swim into the past continuous tense. So we added were and we added ing to the verb. Four, Basma hurt her finger. So what can we choose? We have the verb cut, so we're going to choose cut. Basma hurt her finger while she was cutting some papers. So Basma hurt her finger while the verb after while is going to be in the past continuous tense. So we're cutting some papers. Now, my dear students, you can also do exercise five in your workbook, page 40. Write these words with ing in the correct column. Play, have, climb, listen, swim, fall, run, give, write, and when. Now, for the first column, we're going to use the verb that we're not going to change anything with. Walking. It's going to stay the same. So we're going to put it in the first column. Now, for the second column, we're going to use the verb that ends with E because the E cannot be followed with ING. So we're going to drop it. And for the third column, we're going to use the letters that we duplicate, like P. And there are other examples you can check with the verbs above. In this episode, we learned how to use the past continuous tense with when, use the past continuous tense with while. Thank you for watching.